Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bitwig Studio and Music Production. This is lesson 5.97, and in this lesson, we're going to take another look at the arpeggiator, and we'll also be looking at some of the other note effects in the subsequent videos. The reason why we kind of glossed over them before was because at the time, we didn't have the ability to route our MIDI data independently. And when you can't route out the MIDI data, it's tough to actually know what's going on with some of these effects. And you also lack that control that I think most of you would like to have on a track-by-track -track basis when you're using note effects. And really, my recommendation would be to never have any note effects on the actual track whenever you can help it. So for example, if you can take your arpeggiated pattern, I would prefer to drop it back on the original track and then get rid of the arpeggiator so that you have all of that control that you just don't get when you're using the note effect um, like we have it here. So let's go ahead and just jump into this. I'm not gonna go over the main features of the arpeggiator because we've already done that but what we will be focusing on is routing this out bring it back in and then kind of taking a look to see what's happened okay so we have this sound going and right now we can hear it running through the arpeggiator but if we record that in I was a little early there to start, but we can see that we just have this one long note. And that is not what we want to have. Obviously, it's playing this at eighth note intervals, but we're just seeing that one sustaining note. So how do we fix that? We'll go in, create a new instrument track. And from this instrument track, we have a few options. The first option would be to come in here, and where we have all ins, we would select the polysynth as our track. And now I could record both of these guys at the same time. And just like that, you can see the difference. We now have this guy going in here, and you can see it's playing right on those eighth notes as compared to just this one long sustaining chord. And then what we could do is we could pull this up, replace that MIDI clip, and delete the arpeggiator that's currently on this instance of the polysynth. But let's take this a bit further so you can see this in a little bit greater detail. Uh, what I'll do is maybe I'll add in a second octave. Let's change this up to something more interesting. Uh, let's do that one there and we can change the gate on a few of these let's just take a listen to what this sounds like and maybe we'll just change the velocity on a couple okay that's good enough for me we can try to add in some swing and shuffle and I obviously have this set to extreme so that you can hear it and you'll be able to see it. But now let's go ahead and record another one of these clips in. Okay, like so. Now let's take a look and compare these two MIDI clips. Here's our final result, and you can see that it's accounted for the velocity sensitivity. You can see where the gate has changed, and you also should be able to see when we've had some swing going on. If we're on eighth notes here, you can see that this is not landing straight on the bar. We're swinging it off uh, ever so slightly, or in this case, it's uh, pretty extreme. And we could do this with 16th notes too, but I think you guys get the idea there. We compare that to this clip, and you know, if I had my arpeggiator on there without realizing it, I'd think that this was playing chords. So what we're going to do now, last but not least, is go in here, delete the arpeggiator, delete this clip, pull this up like so, solo it out, and what are we left with? We're left with that original pattern. And the joy and beauty of this is that we could go in here and take this a step further. Now, the last thing to mention is that this has accounted for the shuffle that we've put on. Okay, so you wanna go into this clip now and turn that off because we already have the shuffle working. 
So that's going to be doubling up that effect, and unless that's what you want, you're going to want to have that turned off. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you guys, and you'll hear from me again in the next lesson. Take care.